Well, we are now more than halfway through 2024, and experts say now is a good time to check on your finances. ABC's Perry Russum has advice on exactly what that should look like. Are you on track to reach your financial goals this year? Unfortunately, a lot of Americans don't have a, a system in place to manage their finances. Bank rate analyst Alex Gailey says now is the time for a mid-year financial checkup. I put financial checkups in the same category as dentists and doctor's appointments. They're the sorts of things that maybe you don't want to do, you've been putting off, it's at the bottom of your to-do list, but it's necessary. Gailey says it should take no more than an hour. Start with revisiting your budget, if you have one. If you don't have a system in place, that's when it may feel a little scary to do a mid-year financial checkup. Create a system for yourself that works, and then these checkups will be easier over time because you already laid down the groundwork, right? In addition to looking at the numbers like spending trends, income consistency, and monthly expenses, evaluate if your budget strategy is working for you. There's a lot of different strategies. There's a zero-based budgeting. There's envelope if you want to go old school route. There's also the 50-30-20 rule, which says that you have 50% going towards your needs, 30% going towards your wants, and 20% going towards your savings. Tweak your approach based on the reality of your situation. It's also an opportunity to look at what other short-term financial goals you have and that requires some saving. And that could be a vacation, that could be a major purchase. For me, that means to start saving for the holidays. Gailey says other mid-year steps you can take include increasing your retirement contributions, checking your credit report for errors, and cutting back on subscriptions you don't need. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. Well, a weaker than expected jobs report out today is fueling concern about a potential economic recession. Employers hired 114,000 workers last month. That's well below economists' expectations. The unemployment rate is also now the highest level since October 2021. The report indicates the job market is cooling faster than economists believed. And in response, the Fed is now likely to cut interest rates to encourage stronger job growth.